There's not a great deal I can say when reviewing a battery unless it fails to perform. If it turns your engine over quickly, starts your bike, and then your bike runs perfectly with no electrical gremlins, that's just about all you need. With this anti-gravity battery on my T7, box well and truly ticked, no issues. So as far as reviewing the battery, that's part three of this four part series done. And you're welcome. But there's a side story and a surprise email I got from the USA. In fact, the president, no, not that one, but a nice chap called Scott Schaefer, who is in fact the president and owner of Anti-Gravity Batteries. Now, apart from being delighted with what I told you all about my positive experience and how happy I was with my anti-gravity battery that I've got on the T7, he also offered some very important information which he thought could benefit anyone who was, in fact, relying on their product. You see, in part two of this four-part review, you'll remember that due to me having what was at the time, a parasitic drain on the battery because of a live feed to one of my accessories. The anti-gravity battery restart feature kicked in and put the battery to sleep. The battery went into what I called a, a self-induced coma and it ensured that when I needed to start my T7, I could just press the restart button on the battery and it would wake up and give me enough voltage to start my bike. That's pretty special. Therefore, not leaving me stranded. Absolutely superb. However, Scott pointed out something he asked me to include in a future video. Something which actually could mean the difference between life and death. Specifically, though, for people who find themselves in extremely remote areas, such as deserts, outer Mongolia, outback Australia, or maybe is it Glamis, California, or the back tracks of Utah or Arizona, maybe. Not a great place to be stranded without a signal on your phone. Scott spotted a mistake, one I made when restarting my battery. I actually still had connected and live wired my GPS and my quad lock wireless charger. All well and good. However, when you're relying 100% on your bike or your 4x4 vehicle starting to get you out of a potentially serious situation, you absolutely need every single bit of battery power going straight to your starter and therefore firing up your engine. You can then reconnect to your peripherals. The worst case scenario is that your engine doesn't start. So before pressing that restart button on your anti-gravity battery, you need to make sure that your ignition's off and you need to unplug any potential power draining items. This will ensure when you turn your key, your vehicle actually starts, or if you're on your motorbike, in this case, when you press the starter button, you've given yourself every possible chance of riding out of a remote area. Thank you, Scott, for this important information, and thank you all for watching. I'm pretty confident that moving forward we'll have no negative issues to share about these amazing batteries, but I will, in part four, be showing you a cool accessory that Scott sent me which complements the system. Check out the links in the description that will direct you to their website and social network pages. See you again soon.